Hi, I'm Dan Ferrugia, and welcome. In last week's video, I spoke about uh, an exercise that I'm practicing that I call downbeat doubles on the bass drum. And basically what that is, is a pattern where I'm playing the first two sixteenth notes of every beat on the bass drum. Something like this. One, two, three, four. Now I'm practicing that because I'm not very good at it. And in fact, I think a lot of drummers are probably not as comfortable with that as opposed to playing the two sixteenth notes on the bass drum on the third and fourth sixteenth note, like, like this. Two, three, four. So I've been working on that. And so what I wanted to do is uh, show you some fills that I've been playing and practicing uh, that incorporate those bass drum notes being on the downbeat. So let's get into it. I'm gonna preface this by saying that this is still a work in progress for me. I'm still working on getting this sounding even and getting it to sound good and getting my coordination right. So I thought, what the hell, I'm going to share this stuff with you. You can hear me struggling with it and um, hopefully you'll be able to play it better than I can. So let's get into it. So the first thing I would suggest practicing is a couple of patterns. The first pattern is a pattern in 3-4. And it's basically four notes with the hands, right, left, right, left, two notes with the kick, another four notes with the hands, right, left, right, left, and then two notes on the kick again. This gives us a pattern in three, four, and it's a pattern that you're already playing. So I would suggest practicing this one first. I'm gonna give you two bars of three, four, count in. One, two, three, one, two, three. The reason why I like to practice this exercise is because it gives me two bass drum notes that start on the first two sixteenth notes of the beat and then the next time that pattern comes around the two bass drum notes are on the third and fourth sixteenth note of the beat. So it's a good one to practice just because you're shifting between those two versions of those doubles. Now before I continue there is a PDF that you can download. So I'm gonna leave a, a link to that in the description below and that will help you understand and hopefully clarify everything that I'm explaining today. The second pattern that I like to practice is what I call an extended paradiddle diddle. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna play two notes on the bass drum up front followed by a paradiddle diddle. So it'll be kick, kick, right, left, right, right, left, left. Kick, kick, right, left, right, right, left, left. As two primer exercises, I would suggest you practice those things first. So let's get into the fills. The first fill I'm gonna demonstrate for you starts out with two paradiddle diddles. Right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. And then we get into these um, doubles on the downbeat. So basically what I'm gonna do is play two paradiddle diddles, followed by So that will be played over two bars of 4-4. Four, four. So those two paradiddle diddles take us up to beat four, and then from beat four of the first bar, we play kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, and then another kick at the end to resolve the fill. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four. 
So here's another version of the fill which is shorter. It starts again with two paradiddle diddles. Then on beat four of the first bar, we're gonna play kick, kick, right, left on the tom. And then same thing on the second tom, and then same thing on the floor tom. I know it sounds a little confusing, but let me play this for you. One, two, three, four. This particular pattern resolves on beat three. Now, if you want, you can put a nice funky snare drum hit on beat four, you get this. One, two, three, four. So here's another version of the fill. This fill is gonna start on beat two, and we're gonna start the fill with just four hits on the snare drum, right, left, right, left, uh, as 16th notes, and then we'll continue along with the kick, kick, right, left pattern beyond that. So here we go. One, two, three, four, one. That's basically the fill. So what I'll do is I'll put a bass drum on beat one of the first bar and then a snare drum hit on beat four of the second bar. That'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. So anyway, um, they're the patterns. I'm not gonna play them up to speed because I can't. So I'm still working on them. As I said, this is a work in progress. So a couple of known issues that I'm personally having with this, which I'm still working on and trying to correct is A, coordination. I did a bit of recording on this today and I slowed it down to half speed. And when you do that, it really does exacerbate the the issues with accuracy and so what I found was that for example when I play the paradiddle diddle leading into the fill sometimes that tends to rush so that's one issue the other coordination issue that I'm noticing is that when I play quarter notes um, on the hi-hat there is a little bit of a flam situation between my left foot and right foot because my right foot is starting the doubles on the downbeat. Now, why is this happening? Well, it's very easy. I'm practicing this exercise using the 5-3-1 method starting at 120 and I go up to 130. However, when I'm trying to play these exercises faster, it's often much faster. I'm talking about maybe 160 or even more. So there you go, that's the problem. You know, I'm actually not ready to try and execute these things at faster tempos at this stage. But you know, again, it's a work in progress. Um, the other known issue that I'm having, and this is an interesting one, and you may be doing this as well, but what I'm finding is that I tend to scrunch up my my toes when I play anything fast. So rather than my foot being relaxed, I'm creating tension in my foot by squeezing my toes or scrunching up my toes. So what I'm trying to do, um, according to uh, the book that I've been talking about, Bass Drum Control by Colin Bailey, he talks about feeling the pedal with the ball of your foot, which is generally what I try to do. So with that in mind, I became aware that I was actually tightening my toes. I was curling my toes under my, my foot, which is 
creating tension. So that's another thing that I'm working on. So like I said, this is all a work in progress. I'm not sort of professing to be an expert on this. I may come back with you in the future and play these a little faster and hopefully cleaner as well. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, this is just an insight into how we can use those doubles on the bass drum that are starting on the downbeat. I hope these are fills that you can use. And more importantly, I hope that this kind of inspires you to create your own fills using this concept because it ain't easy or at least it ain't easy for me so um, have fun with it you know dive into it and explore it and you know you may come up with things that sound really great that are your own that's what I'm encouraging here anyway I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you have um, give it the like, you know, hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a video, uh, which is every week. So until next week, have a great week and um, see you all soon. Bye.